Okay, dear brothers and sisters, uh, global family, welcome to Global Peace by 27. As we uh, global prayer chain, we pray for all eight billion plus people on the earth for their salvation, blessing, healing, and the prosperity and peace. And dear him, and we we pray for God to mobilize heaven world to to help uh, every human being. And this is very important from simple people to president. And does everybody are invited? from the politicians to say their vision for ultimate global peace with 97 because enough is enough now now we have um, technology all of this development that we just supposed to get smart in our uh, global uh, mindset uh, global uh, as you know <laughs> uh, there is a um, um, global thinking about uh, this and that but uh, it's better to focus on just uh, uh, building this that we could be proud for our descendants. Otherwise, they will go so much curse us. Uh, we have already many miracles in our meeting as we do in 40 day prayer conditions. And uh, this is the ninth one. And uh, he's so happy that uh, many peace ambassadors, 300 peace ambassadors, uh, are working together with us uh, and they are doing. Um, Improving life of the people and uh, build peace uh, globally. So, does everybody is welcome? Join us at the meeting uh, at seven o'clock African European time. Uh, all uh, offline, you could say a prayer or you could uh, uh, do a research for peace, as you you will see today. We have a scientist uh, uh, research for peace, uh, brother Kinku. So. Um, and uh, many of the in the meeting are praying for peace so this is very important to focus um, human mind the uh, world globally for ultimate global peace and uh, prosperity does uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, below the video is more uh, more about our um, meeting more details uh, um, also, you may turn on suggested playlist and uh, listen God's words and prayers 24-7. Uh, uh, let's go to the meeting uh, with the Messiah's second coming words. Uh, God's hope for humanity. And I think uh, this could be a good topic for today. Uh, my topic tonight is God's hope for humanity. This uh, subject is vast in nature and rather complicated and content. I will try my best to stay on the central point of my topic. God and human beings are subject object partners. If there is a God, God definitely needs human beings. God created all things, but in creation, human beings occupy the most precious and distinguished position. It is therefore very important for us to have a clear understanding of the relationship between God and ourselves. Historically, there have been many theories concerning this relationship, various opinions, psychological concepts, and academic schools about However, the true living relationship between God and humankind remains an unsettled question. Since uh, this relation is uh, so fundamental to life, our understanding cannot proceed until we have cleared this question thoroughly. As we pursue the answer, we discover that there are two main perspectives that uh, we might take. Uh, one view is from God's point of view, standpoint, and other from our point of view. A variety of religions have developed through developing uh, these two perspectives, and uh, there must be one principle common to all religions. One that has to understand this truth is the ultimate sense. As uh, some uh, living on this earth, uh, that what do you consider to this question? I'm sure your answer will be vary. vary. Some might say power, some will adopt the same money, money is everything, others would uh, suggest the wisdom, knowledge. Uh, then are those elements, power, money, knowledge, the most important things in life? Uh, if we take time to reflect on this question, we can conclude that there are ultimately no ones who will claim these are most precious. What then do we hold as most precious? When we look into this question deeply, other thoughts emerge. We soon came to the conclusion that the most precious thing is love. Life. Love is the most precious thing in life. And second to love is uh, life itself, the most precious. If we ideal, these three elements, uh, love, life, and ideal, are not just precious and profound in value. They are various things that make our may seem like uh, an expression from fairy table. It is understandable that uh, we need to emphasize the notion of unchanging, unique, and eternal love. No one wishes to love 
for love to change. Regardless of whether we are teenagers, middle-aged adults, or senior citizens, we all wish for love that is eternal. Also, in the same way, with respect to life, there is no one who wishes to live, who wish uh, for life to last forever, to be unchanging, unique, special, and absolute. The goal of you religions is ultimately for salvation and eternal life. Uh, if, um, if there were no belief in eternal life, we would not have religion. People can strive toward the ideal of love. Uh, does love, life, and ideal are the most precious things to us, and we cannot help but strive for eternal life. And uh, yeah, and this speech uh, is quite long, but the most important is that uh, God needs the same. God needs love too, and he could express it only through his children. Ourselves, uh, we could be, uh, we are just object partner of God. Okay, that's uh, very important and uh, inspirational speech for today. And let's uh, go with the, our prayer chain and uh, invite our brother Tinku. Uh, he usually have a very great uh, research for peace. Welcome, Tinku. Namaste. So I am again Namaste. And uh, we will talk about peace and why do we need peace in international world. So we can talk about peace is also a building peace in fragile and conflict setting through health. Conflicts often lead to disruption of health system, collapse of essential medical supply chains, breakdown of social and economic system, exodus of healthcare workers and in both epidemics and starvations. While health often deteriorates in the conflict, health can also bring about peace. Health is a neutral starting point for bringing together rival parties as they work towards the same health initiatives, such as vaccinating children or healing the bonded. However, if there is Inequality in the health service directly, conflict can be further accelerated. It is working to develop a new health and peace program that builds its technical competency, legitimacy, relationship, and convening power in the health arena to develop. Innovative ways to address conflict factor, a strength resilience to violence and empower people to build and rebuild peaceful relations with each other. The organization works to achieve health outcomes through peace promotion by leveraging its advocacy role. This may include signaling the impact of sanctions on healthcare system, promoting delivery of healthcare without the threat of violence, supporting health meditations when political meditation actors can't enter this space as well as by providing a strong evidence on the impact of war on health. It also achieves peace dependence through health intervention, such as negotiating for cessations of hostilities to conduct vaccination campaigns. Peace study is an interdisciplinary field of inquiry animated by a digital society through policy relevant research and practice on including life concept of process that demand justice, promote healing, create more equitable societies, the root cause of violence in all its forms, including physical, architectural, cultural, and environmental. So a strategy to prevent and transform violent conflict through non-violent means and operations to purport a structural and institutional change at local, national, and global levels. The field of peace study recognizes that conflicts in inheritance in human behaviors and seeks to harness conflict through nonviolent means to reduce violence and transform societies. For example, like about 400 colleges and universities around the world offer peace study program of one kind or another, a few including of graduate, non-graduate diploma and certification course provided. As a 60 plus year old academic field, peace a study as a literature, books, and journals, an active base of our scholars, an established curriculum, and a 
pedagogical television that include a classroom teaching experiment, experiential learning internship and international art study. And some NGO can box on peace to relationship between two countries. So uh, in our country, Gandhian concept of non-violence is lives and grows by experimentations. Gandhi life by experiment with truth and the means of truth, non-violent. His life, he said, consisted of nothing more than these experiments. True non-violence is religion, for it is a total commitment to that which the individual regards as supreme in the world. Let us know that the Tolstoy and Gandhian non-violence is a philosophy and a strategy for social change that rejects the use of violence, but at the same time sees non-violence action as an alternative to passive acceptance of oppression or arm, a struggle against it. So peace is a value based on principle we live by. Peace is a being who are without fear. It is the being who are you, who must be taught a value based on principle to live by. Only principle described in global law are necessary and required to attain peace in the world. So and the question arises, the United Nations was founded in 1945 after World War II to replace the river of nations. Its objective is to stop war between country and to provide a platform for dialogue. According to UNO, education is the best way to get peace culture. Where should this education come from? Governments, civil society, mass media, parents, educators, journalists, religions, cognitions, intellectuals, artists, health and social worker, and NGO, and so on. So, is world peace possible? While world peace is theoretical possible, some believe that human nature inherently prevents it. This stems from the idea that humans are naturally violent. Others, however, believe that war is not an innate part of human nature and that this might in fact prevent people from reaching for world peace. So thank you so much, Aju Amin Amin. Yeah, thank you very much, Tinku. <laughs> yes, thank good you. research. That war is not innate. <laughs> it's some, uh, how to say, <laughs> some mm -hmm. additional that people somehow inherit from the history to fight. But uh, this is not original ideal and it's not natural for people. Therefore, I call uh, this world uh, mostly like, you know, um, how to say, <laughs> artificial. <laughs> Yeah, artificial intelligence. Yeah, artificial intelligence also is good, but uh, uh, if it helps people, but if it's just a, uh, how to say, multiply sin, this is not needed. Now, uh, nowadays, they try to, in, uh, how to say, to push this, uh, uh, how to say, they were thinking in the artificial intelligence. So <laughs> this is not intelligent, it's, it's uh, uh, artificial dumping, you know. <laughs> Okay, let's invite our sister Irina. She also uh, have a good, usually powerful prayer for peace. Irina, could you could you pray now? Yes. What are we praying for today? Uh, today we pray for God, hope for humanity. <laughs> of course, we, everybody wants hope. We want peace. But it's very important to understand the original ideal. What God want to work for humankind? What our parents want? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Good evening, all brothers and sisters. Um, let us pray. Our dearest, most precious heavenly parents, the creator of heaven and earth and all the things in it and the cosmos, our beloved true parents, of heaven and earth. Uh, 
because we can now be able to see your love in everything that you created. We know our beloved heaven parents that you created this world for a purpose. You wanted this world to give you joy through man, humankind, who is like the best of all your creation. We know that man has responsibility to, make, to bring joy to you, to make you happy. A couple, because the Bible says you created us in your image, male and female. Therefore, when there is a couple, a male and female, legally married and happily married, they represent you, our heavenly parents. So your hope for the world was that we would make good families through male and female. However, things have not been as you had wanted, even from the beginning of creation, because your only children, Adam and Eve, misused their commandment that you had given to them not to eat. And they ended up eating before you gave them permission to eat. And because of that, we, the children of Adam and Eve, have been sinning, sinners in this world. No holy person has appeared on earth yet. So we pray that heavenly parents, your hope, your, your hope for mankind, what you originally wanted us to be, should happen soon. We are lucky that you have sent so many prophets and sages, and in the Bible, Messiah. So these people who have come have taught us how we can come closer to you. And little by little, we understand your will, we understand what you want us to do. But the power of Satan is really strong. We have to fight it with all our might. So we pray and thank you for all the saints and sages who died for your name, for your goodness, for your hope. We pray that in this current era, you still are sending people with goodness, with love, with peace to come and give us insight of what you totally want this world to be. That is why here on this forum, we continue to pray for peace. We pray for peace by the year 2027. And we know that peace can be achieved starting from an individual. When they have peace of mind, when they are happy, they don't misuse their sexual parts. They don't misuse their tongue. They don't misuse money, those big sins on earth. If we can avoid them, then we we'll live happily and peacefully. In this world, everything has been torn apart because our youth now are into drugs. The old people are not educating the youth properly. The old people are comfort in their greed and money making. They forget that we have to look after those who are sick, those who are depressed, those who don't have enough to live on. So Father, all this has to be upturned by the year 2027 so that we can learn to live for the sake of each other and to love each other. This is your hope for us, humankind. So on this forum, we want to ask Father that every evening as brothers and sisters pray, let all the vibrations from this forum go all over the world, especially in the families of the members who are here, in their countries and the world to see that peace can be had and can be achieved by the whole world by 2027. I continue to pray for our brothers and sisters. I continue to pray for their good words. I continue to pray for their purity, their families. I continue to pray that they love you every single day and that they bring your will here on earth. Small by small, 
we shall expand and we shall make this forum big and we shall make this forum heard by the world. And then we shall be thankful to our two parents for bringing about peace organizations and for bringing about lovingness among us, brotherhood and sisterhood. We pray especially for the leaders of this world. Father, the religious leaders especially, because they are our hope. They are the ones who are supposed to bring us closer to you, but they are being attacked by so many earthly devices. Now recently we heard that the Archbishop of Canterbury has uh, okayed this homosexuality, which is bring a big uproar in the Christian Anglican religion. And many Anglican uh, uh, groups are cutting themselves away from England, which is the original. Father, these things are all being brought up because our mind and body is not connected. If our mind and body is connected, we can easily see you. Therefore, we can discern what is good and what is bad. But Father, we pray, we have hope in our hearts. We have hope indeed that we shall have peace one day on earth, preferably before 2027. And as we continue to pray, I want to thank you in gratitude for giving us life, for giving us our parents, for giving us our ancestors, for all those people who have gone into the spiritual world. We pray for them. We pray for everyone to understand and quickly learn that without you, this world cannot be good because you are the designer, you are the porter of this world. Therefore, we have to look at you, understand what you wanted us to be in the beginning, and then we can do it peacefully. Thank you, Egoin. May God bless all of us. May all the good spirits come in our hearts. May we be alert and understand your will. I pray in the name of our beloved Jesus Christ, our beloved two parents, and I pray as in the of the Blessed Central Family, Adieu, adieu, amen, amen. Thank you very much, dear Irina. So powerful prayer. Thank you so very much. Please join my prayer too. Uh, okay, seems like sound is working. Uh, dear family parent, we are so happy to meet you alive here. You inspire us. Uh, um to join here at uh, seven o'clock uh, um, as uh, we pray for all eight billion plus people on the earth for their salvation blessing healing and uh, you want to you family to join together to be one um one body and this is uh, we are really like this and therefore all these uh, uh, catastrophes that uh, is wars and uh, calamities and others are affecting our um, as we are all you children we are like uh, cells and your body and uh, <clears throat> you are feeling this um, pain dear heavenly parent because uh, uh, we are your children and you live with us and in us and, and our soul so jesus inspire us that uh, we are that you spirit living with us so we want to connect with the spirit and i pray very much for uh brother and sister who joined today online for tinku in uh, india and and um, heavenly asia and the uh, arena and uh, uganda and amos and gabon uh, i pray very much for them and uh, i'm in europe uh, dear family parent we unite two countries and two continents and uh, there are many brothers and sisters who join uh, on all other continents uh, offline and they are prayer because of time they couldn't join but uh, uh, we want to unite more. We want to invite uh, more brothers and sisters uh, to raise this topic for ultimate global peace by 2027. As uh, um, we understand, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we are your children and our collective mind and our like global thinking, we're supposed to get smarter and stop all of these uh, evil actions, what the people allow themselves to do. Because uh, you you develop the world and the, um, through the law and the, through the um, and culture, and uh, we understand that um, all of these sins, what uh, people uh, are doing, like love out of marriage, um, killing uh, others, or uh, um, and uh, stealing corruption, this is uh, 
is uh, never supposed to be in the human history. All of these wars and others, all of these argue, and uh, therefore we supposed to get uh, very smart to not uh, to stop it right now. All human beings, uh, we supposed to get this education. What Messiah Second Coming bring the true love that is uh, really um, they express you like true parents. They express this to us and we want to give to our brothers and sisters and does this culture is developing globally in every corner of the world as if they establish this 11 year of a um, heavenly kingdom um, it's supposed to go in every corner of the world by 2027 and uh, we we pray for you miracles uh, not miracles that they uh, will uh, that will be became alive or others some other miracles billionaires so will became people um, good things supposed to happen but the best is uh, that uh, we as a brother and sisters and all the eight billions and global family uh, to understand because uh, today we pray for um you hope for humanity and we understand as uh, we read the messiah's and coming word today that uh, our hope is through love and you hope also is through love and we want to unite this uh, and through love and uh, live together with you because uh, uh, till now uh, the history um we your children was uh, thinking that we are orphans and therefore we we are was dealing till now even now even um leaders of the countries uh, they are like uh, orphans even they have families but uh, um they are dealing uh, with the world by like orphans therefore they are fighting and doing wars and all of these sanctions and uh, you're supposed to understand that we are one global family of families and uh, we uh, if you control this, if you understand, then we understand that we're supposed to raise our love in our families and uh, our families love to the community and community love to the cities and cities for the countries and countries for the world and world for the um, heavenly world for the our ancestors. And um, all together, we are uh, you children, 8 billion and 300 billion of ancestors. Uh, we want to live together with you as one global family. Therefore, we pray for you. Uh, heavenly parent that uh, please uh, forgive us that uh, we are doing mistakes still but uh, let's get smarter as your children and uh, united this uh, great blessed uh, heavenly parents holy community that the uh, messiah bring uh, that uniting uh, people and organizations and, uh, and this uh, great uh, community we unite uh, um, in the global peace building network for ultimate global peace by 2027 to go with this uh, uh, teaching of love to every corner of the world so let's do it let's do it uh, as uh, jesus inspire us uh, um, to love even our enemy therefore we supposed to um, have this kind of heart and and we supposed to get this teaching not someday and let it to another two thousand years ahead but uh, uh, we supposed to establish now to be uh, proud for our descendants we really want to pass to our descendants to our children grandchildren a pure planet pure relationship between uh, brothers and sisters and uh, really just the best um, dear heavenly parents please lead to us and lead to us to purify from the sin uh, all humanity and uh, receive this uh, uh, day of the 26th of um, uh, february 2023 as a pure offering and lead us tomorrow uh, tomorrow is monday we we try this day to be together with you and do the best only with you and uh, with our brothers and sisters and you love please receive this report i pray in my name is nikolai kerpala santa Claus family adieu amen 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 yeah thank you very much brother thank you thank you Stella. brothers and sisters you, sorry <laughs> yeah. i'm in darkness <laughs> no sorry problem. no power for me so uh, may yeah. god give you give you light <laughs> Soon. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.